Brick Mad Sam. Right, sons, Brick fans, and welcome back to another episode of Building Bar 2. I'm Brick Mad Sam, and on today's episode, I'm going to be taking you through all the updates we've done on the souk market. We've got a haul in of a whole bunch of parts early in the week. Maybe made a few errors in terms of maths, but I'm sure you'll be finding out about those a little bit later on in the episode. And towards the end, I am going to be placing a bunch of minifigures inside of the market as well. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Of course, if you enjoyed today's video, guys, please give me a like. Uh, it really does help to share it around to other people that might like this type of content. While you're down there, you might as well hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell so you don't miss any more content coming up. Another quick reminder, my Brick Mad Mock contest is still running until September 15 when entries close. So if you haven't checked out the video, please do check the link above. Other than that, no time to delay. Let's hit that hyperdrive and jump straight in. Super stoked to kick this episode off with a haul that just came in. Pretty sure this is for the supermarket. So I'm looking forward to opening this one up and checking what's inside. All right, so. Let's crack this one open and see what's inside. Hello, what have we here? Has a terrible Lando impression, but whatever. It's looking very good. It's looking very positive. That looks like a lot of dark orange. Hope I've ordered enough. But that right there dark orange stacks of dark orange what else is in here got a whole wad of of these for the flooring uh i'm not sure if this is going to be the full amount because i did uh order as many as i could from these guys so we'll see i also got some extra some extra olive two by eights and some one by twos in dark orange as well, just to help build that one. I got some more tiles. So these olive plates and the olive tiles are actually for the transport shuttle. So that is gonna be pretty cool. That means we're gonna be able to touch that one up and finish that one off for docking base seven as well. And also just a few more of the one by two tiles in there in the medium nougat. So that will be for mainly the road. And then, yeah, a nice wad of dark orange. So uh, let's get stuck in and start building with some of this stuff. Right, well, I'm going to jump in and do something that I think will probably be the most satisfying, which is uh, getting all of these into the space and laying them out. For some reason, I feel like I'm probably short and I have actually ordered some more of these from another place, but uh, we'll see how this goes anyway. Uh, let's jump in now and see how far I make these go. Okay, so I probably shouldn't have just tipped them out everywhere. Um, because now I've got a whole bunch of them that are on this side. I'm going to have to go over and like kind of flick them over and they're going to be flying off everywhere. So anyway, I'm going to do that. Uh, but what I have discovered is that I'm clearly quite short of what I thought I was going to need. So uh, definitely going to have to go check and see that I have ordered some more on Bricklink. Matt's has never been my strong suit. I have drastically under-ordered wheel parts. If I have not gone to another Brickling store and ordered an extra lot, I am well, well going to need to go and order probably like at least five times what I've ordered before. So uh, yeah, but look, I hope you guys can see kind of where this floor is heading. When all of this fills in, it should look pretty cool. Um, and still leave heaps of space to put some of these minifigures down. So I'm gonna try and lay some minifigures in here tonight. 
so you can uh, really start to see how many guys are going to be able to fit in here and, and where they're going to be all standing. Um, so yeah, for now, I'm going to move back onto the walls over this side and start building it up and finishing the outer structures, I guess. Uh, now that I've got all those uh, dark orange pieces in, hopefully I've ordered enough of those. Time for a little status update, and I've pretty much run out of those dark orange bricks. So, unfortunately, uh, I'm not very good at maths, and also, I don't think I equated for the whole double wall thing uh, for the inside and outside. So, I'm gonna have to order some more of those in with the rest of the floor plates. However, uh, this side, this little corner here is really starting to uh, come together. I think, um, you can see here, I've also added in some of these power boxes and that's gonna be kind of like a bit of a theme that's gonna happen around these corners as well. Uh, I have put a whole bunch of extra uh, of these uh, little uh, headlight bricks in there just to um, give me some options with adding a bit more of this type of stuff and a few more kind of power boxes. And then for those that I don't end up using, I'm gonna put some uh, circular uh, tiles, one by one tiles in there. Uh, it is definitely building up to a height now, which is nice. Uh, and so essentially you'll notice that this one is probably a little bit plainer than I would usually do. And this one a bit the same, but the idea is that the marketplace is gonna come and, and sort of cover that area this way. So uh, you're not actually gonna see too much on that wall. Otherwise I would have put the big, another big, uh, silo thing uh, here which is actually on the side of the building but I'm not going to do that one and I have changed this little layout a little bit as well and sort of move some of the power boxes around but uh, yeah that's that's where we're at so far uh, what I'm going to go jump onto now uh, is just doing some of the tiles for the pathway here the the medium nougat tiles because I got some of those in and then probably working my way down this way as well and just doing a little bit more work on this. Um, and then uh, possibly having a look at some of the other minifigures that are gonna go into the marketplace. So uh, yeah, but for now, I'm gonna jump into this section anyway and uh, hopefully get that one done pretty quick.
pathway. I will probably extend it out a little bit further uh, this way, just so it feels like the whole thing's kind of coming out and then spreading out a little bit more. And so it'll sort of match up a bit more with this, but I'm gonna have some plants and sort of overgrow this area and put some rocks in and stuff like that. But I'm gonna do that one a bit later because I want to jump in to putting some more mini figs down in this area because who doesn't love putting down mini figs, right? So uh, yeah, I'm gonna put down some of them now and uh, let's jump into that. So I thought it was about time that I jump in and do some of the mini figures for Batu, which I haven't really done too much before. I've done Savvy's, but uh, we've got Rose in here that's making her way in through the entrance and you would assume that she's coming in from the resistance base and then over here we have uh jert russell i'm going to call him uh he's going to be one of the dealers at the uh creature shop but uh we're going to be putting down a whole bunch i've got about 12 to put down today including a special hero that i'll be doing last so uh full disclosure some of these characters i've actually already created for my uh, Ring of Kafreen mock, so there they all are. Some of them will be coming from the Ring of Kafreen mock and then some will be coming obviously from uh, First Order and a few other places, so let's get stuck into it. So here you go, he's the first one and he is definitely from my Ring of Kafreen mock. Uh, I really like this fig that I made up. He's made up of uh, Captain Tarple's uh, torsos. He's got an Amoidian head and uh, actually I'm pretty sure that's Professor Quirrell's uh, turban on there really like the look of him he, he really stands out nicely so he'll be going pretty smack bang in the middle i think of this little event so yeah i think he's going to work out real nicely if you look at him from up there next one to go in is this random guy who i made if anyone knows where that headpiece came from uh let me know but i did also make this guy for uh, the Ring of Cuff Remark, so we'll put him in. We'll, we'll drop him over there. Here we go, this is the next one. He's a Deveronian. He's got a mixture of, uh, obviously, the Deveronian head from the cantina and uh, some Ninjago piece, I think. And then I love the old uh, sheath. So that works out really well. Um, he's kind of making his moves in from Docking Bay 7. I want to kind of make these guys, some of them will be standing still and sort of talking, the others will be kind of moving around. Officer number one from First Order, and I'm actually going to put him over where he's going to be interrogating Jurt Russell. The only way to interrogate properly is to have yourself a trooper with you, so he's going to be just in behind. In fact, I'm going to, I'm going to have him standing kind of there. Uh, what's next? I'm going to put some Jawas in there because they're always hanging out in the marketplace. Uh, so I'm going to drop these guys over, kind of here, I'm thinking, those guys. Old mate Porg, got to put a Porg in there. The female First Order officer, and I'm going to drop her over here, getting some sort of sustenance. All right, now, Hawks, I have him on his way out of the marketplace. And of course, he's gonna have to be flanked by a captain, isn't he? So there we go. And just there. It's starting to look, look a lot better. Next one that's gonna go in is my quasi Star Wars Jack Sparrow guy. He's most definitely gonna be making his way through the marketplace. So we're gonna drop him. Actually, we might put him over here. Yeah, because he's kind of cool. And we'll have him be on his way over that way. Next one is a bounty hunter that's going to be coming up uh, in some of my Star Wars factions. It's going to be a villain. I'm going to have him kind of hanging out by the creature store, just sort of watching what is unfolding. Now, I did also want to drop in uh, at least one droid, so Dio's going in there. Quill's cousin, Jeel. So he would be sort of working in this section next one is a kind of space explorer another kind of suspect type guy i'm actually thinking about having him be a bit of a like an offsider for this villain I haven't come up with a name for this one if you can think of a cool name 
for this girl who is going to be someone I think that will end up being recruited by the resistance. Um, but if you can think of a cool name for her, let me know. But uh, she's definitely going to be in here somewhere looking a little sus. Might almost be a thief. You know what? I'm going to put her over right over near Dio as though she's on the lookout. The hero for today. All right, so I'm going to put Chewie in. Uh, because at Galaxy's Edge, that's actually where he entered. I don't know if he always enters in that way, but it seems to be that that's the way he comes. And I'm going to have him be like a bit of the muscle for for Rose, as though they've sort of come in from the resistance base, which is the outside, and they've come in to have a look. So let's have a look in through this way. There we go. We're starting to get some people in there, which is nice. Going to keep uh, keep that coming over the next little while. Might even need to put in a few more kind of positions for these guys to, to uh, stand at. But yeah, there's going to be probably about probably three times the amount of guys that are in there presently. So that pretty much wraps up today's episode, guys. Uh, we've got a little bit of build progress done and also have started putting down some of the figures. So that's a lot of fun. And uh, let's bounce into the wrap up. Well, there you go, Brick fans. You can now see that my mathematical prowess is just not up to scratch. So I am going to have to go and make a whole bunch of BrickLink orders now to try and get the required amount of parts in to finish off that suit market once again. The good and bad thing is, is that there will not be a building bar to next week because I'm actually going away for a week. But that will hopefully give me a bit of time to get those BrickLink orders in. So when I get back, you should be rolling in some updates for the souk market. We did still get a fair bit of progress done today uh, in building up those walls and getting some of those power banks in there and, and that type of thing. It, it kind of makes it feel like it's starting to get there in terms of uh, just getting some of the details in, especially when you start putting those minifigs in there. I think I'm really going to be able to get some really nice shots out of it. So that's really exciting and uh, I look forward to completing that when I get back from holidays. As I did say, there will be no building bar two next week. However, I do have a bunch of videos coming out. Anyway, here's a couple of product reviews and also one of my Star Wars Factions builds is coming out next week, episode two, which is my Ring of Carfreen build. So please stay tuned for that one. And until next time, enjoy your building and may the bricks be with you.